This is Chris Hansen, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to render an H.264 video from inside DaVinci Resolve 15.2. So let's get started. Here we are in the color page. We've just finished color correcting and grading our footage, and we're ready to generate a video from it in the H.264 format. So the way to do that is to come down here and click on the Deliver page. We come up to the upper right on the Deliver page and we grab the little slider and we drag it to the right until we get to H.264. We click on this and you can see that that sets up the format in QuickTime, H.264. Now it does set the resolution to 1920 by 1080 and if you want that resolution, that's great. If you want UHD 4K, you can click on the drop down arrow and you can choose the 3840 by 2160 Ultra HD, which is the UHD format. The frame rate was set when I loaded in the clips to 29.97 and so that's the frame rate we're going to have to render in. The rest of this is set up automatically and again this is a quick and easy version of this, so we're not going to go into the details. We can also play with audio if we want to, but we're going to leave it alone. And finally, we're going to use the timeline name. We could click here and we could give it a custom name. Again, keep it simple and use the timeline name. Once we've got this set up and ready to go, and we've changed this to UHD 4K, if we want to save this, we can come up to these three dots and we can save as a new preset. If I click on that, I'm going to call this Chris UHD 4K H.264. Click OK, and that has saved it. And where did it save it? Well, it put it over here. Now you can see that's what's selected right now. So if I choose another one, it'll choose those settings. If I come back to here, it will choose that setting. So then, if we haven't told it where we want to store the rendered file, we would click on this Browse button right here, and we would choose the location. In this case, I have created a Video Master Files folder for this, and I would click on Open, and that would save that location. Now, to get this to render, we add it to the render queue like this, and we click on the Start Render and it'll give us a percentage of completion as it renders through this timeline. And through the magic of a video, I'm not going to make you sit and wait for this whole thing to render. And there we go. That's rendered. We could save it by going up to File and Save, saving the project, or if we want to get rid of it, we can click the X and we would remove it. So there you go. It's that quick and easy to create an H.264 in either 1920 by 1080 or in 4K at 3840 by 2160, which is the UHD 4K format. I hope you found this video helpful and that you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.